Hello everyone, welcome back to No Sweat English. My name is Carol Wright, I'll be your teacher for the day. Today I'd like to talk about some um, restaurant vocabulary and conversations that you might have when you visit a restaurant um, and maybe think about kind of the English words you need to have a conversation to order your food and know a little bit more about um, the restaurant etiquette. So let's get started. Before we do that, if you can please subscribe and hit the bell, that I really appreciate it so that every time you I upload a video, you'll be notified. All right, let's get started. So things to know before you go. So first you need to figure out the restaurant that you're visiting. Is it casual dining or fine dining? So what is casual dining? Casual dining is um, a very family style atmosphere. You can dress any way you want. It's very easy going. Um, you can wear jeans or t-shirt or shorts. You don't need usually reservation. Reservation means to call to save a table. So usually you can see in this picture, people are dressed very casually, um, just enjoying their food. Um, if you're going to fine dining, um, usually fine dining are kind of more expensive restaurants, more higher class restaurants. You need to dress formally, meaning if you're a guy, you probably need to wear a suit jacket or long pants. If you're a girl, you should wear a dress. Um, you may need a reservation um, to call to save a table. Okay, so you need to figure out, am I going to casual dining or fine dining? So today we're gonna to talk a little bit more on the casual dining. I think for our student population, usually um, we're more on the casual dining side. So here, if you want to make a reservation, here is the conversation um, you can have. So first you call the number of the restaurant and this is what you're going to say. Hi, my name is Carol. I would like to make a reservation for four people for 7 p.m. tonight, please. Okay, so I'm gonna give you two answers. The way the restaurant says okay or not okay. So if they say okay, this is what the restaurant would say. Of course, may I please have your phone number? Yes, my number is 909-421-5878. Great, I have you all set for four people at 7 p.m. tonight. We will see you then. What if they don't have the reservation? This is the conversation they will give you. I'm so sorry, but we're fully booked for that time. I have a 6 p.m. Op open, is that okay? Oh, in that case, okay, I'll take 6 p.m. Great, I have you all set for four people at 6 p.m. tonight. We will see you then. Okay, so I'm giving you two examples of a conversation, of a change of time for the reservation. Next, when you arrive, you will usually see a person standing here, maybe on the outside. This person's called a greeter. Okay, greet means to say hello. Um, usually there's a greeter at a restaurant, except for fast food restaurants, you won't see a greeter, but in a normal restaurant, you'll probably see a person standing there waiting to help you. So the greeter may say, how may I help you? So there are three different situations. If you have a reservation, you don't have a reservation, but they can seat you, or you don't have a reservation and they cannot seat you. So let's start with the first situation. The greeter says, how may I help you? You can say, hi, I have a reservation under Carol for four at 7 p.m. So reservation under meaning your name, um, which name that you gave to the person when you made the reservation. So again, you can say, hi, I have a reservation under Carol for four, as in four people, at 7 p.m. The greeter would say, of course, please follow me. Now, what do we say if we don't have a reservation? We just walk up to the greeter. The greeter says, how may I help you? You can say, hi, party of four, okay? Party of meaning how many people, okay? So you can say, hi, party of four, party of five, party of two. The greeter asks you, do you have a reservation? No, we don't. Okay, no problem. It's gonna be a 15 minute wait. Sure, okay? Here's a third situation where you don't have a reservation and they don't have seats for you. So the greeter might say, how may I help you? He says, hi, party of four. Do you have a reservation? No, we don't. Oh, I'm so sorry, but we're fully booked until 9 p.m. Oh, wow, okay, um, we will go somewhere else. Okay, so this is a sample conversations of three different situations. After you sit down, your server, or we can call them a waiter for a guy or waitress for women, will come to you with menus. Menus is like the book with all the food names in there. The server might say, can I get you started with something to drink? 
Sure, may I please have a lemonade with no ice? Sure thing. Do you know what you want or would you like a minute to look over the menu? You can say, I'm gonna need a few minutes, thanks, if you need some time to look at the menu, or, oh no, I'm fine, I know what I want, and then you can order. Okay, so this is for if you need some time to read the menu, this is for if you know exactly what you want to order. Now let's look at our menu. So this is a sample menu. Usually we have something called the starters. Starters are appetizers or the word appetizer, food to eat first before your main course. So maybe you want something small before your main course. Here usually you will have soups or salads and like I said, appetizers, bread and things like that. Then maybe you wanna order your main course. Your main course is your main dish. So you're gonna order from here um, with the main food that you're gonna eat. Drinks is what you want to drink here. Snacks, usually a menu might have a snack section. If you're not too hungry or you just want something small to eat, you can order from the snack menu. And dessert, something sweet to end your meal with. Okay, so these are the different vocabulary for the different types of food. So we have starters, main course, drinks, snacks, and desserts. Okay, so when you're ordering, really important, an American restaurant, every table has a special server for them. So don't wave over another server if you didn't speak to him before. So there's usually one waiter for each table and there's a special waiter for you. Okay, so don't go and wave another person over because they're just gonna say, I would bring your person to you, okay? I know in some country, like from where I'm from in Hong Kong, any server can take your order, but in America, usually one server per table. Okay, so something to remember. All right, so your server comes over and say, ready to order? Yes, we are ready. I would like a hamburger, please. Certainly, how would you like that cooked? Medium rare, please. Okay, here I want to show you about hamburger and steak and usually beef. Um, Restaurants will have different levels of doneness. How cooked do you want your meat? You can have it rare, really red, medium rare, medium, medium well, and well done. Well done is like no blood at all, okay? So I could say medium rare, please, because that's how I like my hamburger. The server might say, it comes with fries, salad, or soup. What would you like? Um, fries, please. Great, thank you. Okay, so this is an example uh, conversation on how you can order your food. After you eat, there are two ways you can pay if you're eating with your friends. One is not split the bill. Split the bill means divide the bill into different pieces. So when you not split the bill, one person pays all of it. Okay, so maybe your friend is buying everybody lunch, but usually in America, if it's not a special occasion, people split the bill. Everybody pays a little bit of the bill of their own. Okay, so if you're not splitting the bill, this is what you can say. May I please have the bill? Sure, here you go. Now I want to talk a little bit about tipping in America. Tipping is a very important part of eating out. Um, to be really honest with you, if you don't like to tip, then you probably shouldn't eat out because every waiter expects some kind of a tip. How much should you tip? You usually tip between 15% to 20%. So here you can see sometimes the bill will come up with um, suggested, you will see the word gratuity. Gratuity means tip, okay? Gratuity means tip. And they're giving you some sample of how much you should pay or how much you want to pay the server. All right, now here, if you're splitting the bill, you can tell your server, hi, we would like to split the bill, please, equally among the four of us. Okay, if you're four or five or two people, right, you can split the bill. And your server usually says, here you go, and you all pay part of your meal or part of the whole meal, okay, to the server. All right, so that's about tipping and about paying in a restaurant. Um, sometimes you um, maybe not finish your food, but you want to take it home. In American culture, it is very common to take food home. I know, again, in some culture, it might make you look cheap to take food home. But America is very normal. So if you want to take something home, you can ask for what we call a to-go box. Okay, so you can say, may I please have a box to go? And your server would say, sure, here you go. Okay, 
So today I've introduced to you the conversation that you can have in a restaurant, how to order food, what to expect. Hopefully this was helpful. Again, if you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the bell. And if you have any questions about this or if you like videos like this, please let me know. That's the only way that I'm going to know what kind of videos you like is by your comment. And I love hearing from you guys. So please comment if you like videos like this, you want more of seeing me on the board or you like more of these PowerPoint um, explanations, please let me know. All right, um, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.